I noticed on the on the and when you guys were. Uh, uh, I don't know if it was from this from this actual footage because I saw the footage before, mm -hmm. um, you know, tonight. But uh, I, I noticed when, when you guys were kicking into the song, you, you were you were just like moving around in a certain way. You had the mic like, like uh, you got some certain style of of moving around with your with your singing. Is that something that you've been just that just comes natural to you or what? Uh, yeah, you know, when we first started, I was always nervous, so I was like, you know, eyes closed, trying to concentrate. Um, yeah. I've tried to get in as a, we progress and got a little harder and more to our liking. I've been able to move around more. And, yeah. You, you just know. can't care about what anybody thinks at all. No, yeah. There you go. That's that's the best policy. I think a lot of it live is... Too bad about them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think, like, you know, you, you're playing and you're so timid at first, but once you're out there and, like you said, it, you, they come to see you. They want yeah. to see a show and... You feel the energy from the crowd. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good high. It's mm -hmm. the best high that there is, probably. Well, I think oh. it, some of the adrenaline, like when we played the House of Blues, we we played, came back to our dressing room, we all sat down, and we're like, "Wow, did that, did that just <laughs> happen?" You know, like it, it was yeah. just two seconds. <laughs> yeah. that can last with, uh, for a little while till your next gig, right? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> keeps you going. Uh -huh. Well, that's good. So you guys are are you guys uh, uh, talking to any labels any anything or we right now? Yeah, we have a, uh, a distribution. Okay, yeah, on, the, on the table, we're shopping. Sure. Uh, we're shopping management. Like some of the bands we actually met up with, mm -hmm. we have some of their management contacts. So we're, like I said, we're trying to get the material there first, and mm -hmm. then we're going to shop and see what we can do. Yeah. Are you guys uh, members of any association like BMI or ASCAP? Uh, or? We're BMI. Okay, because it's cheaper for BMI, right? You don't have to pay any money for <laughs> well, that one. Yeah, the only thing is in Chicago, you have ass caps right there. But right. yeah, I'm a BMI guy myself, so. All right. All right. Cool. Right. We got BMI That's right. guys That's right. here. All right. <laughs> We're promoting BMI tonight, too, as well. <clears throat> so uh, this, uh, you have an EP now. What, what's, what's, the next, what's the next plan for you guys? Well, I think the next plan for us is we have an EP with six songs, and we've had, we have, uh, 14, 15 other songs that we've ended up playing live. Mm -hmm. We want to write. We want to write and record the album a full length. Great. And uh, get that out and get it get it right and see where it takes us. Well, that's great. Sounds good. Well. Uh, there's there's oh. Okay, that's right. Yeah, we have to. I neglect that all the time, don't I? <laughs> You guys have a MySpace, and uh, so do you have a website too besides the MySpace? Or? Not yet, no. In okay. the process, in the works, uh, okay. we're going to buy the domain name and get that squared away. But yeah, right now, myspace.com slash beyondwordsband. Okay. And we check it every day, daily, so you can, if you want to send us a message. Facebook too. N now, yeah. you guys, uh, you sell tickets from there too, I saw. Mm -hmm. uh, That's so kind of a neat thing. If they want to uh, see us, like I said, we'll, we'll message you back. We're cool enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good. Um, is there any? Has there been anybody, any questions of, uh, from people online that we could we could go through? And anybody out there got any questions? Uh, of course, we're we're live right now, and there's quite a few people uh, checking out the the show tonight. Let's see if we have anything from anybody. Anybody have a question for either guys in the band? Otherwise, we're just going to look at them for a little while and see what <laughs> they do. We'll see if they start sweating and start jumping around or something. We'll put on a show for the camera. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out how we're going to end the show tonight. Uh, if if uh, you guys are going to come to Swords or what? Oh yeah, we're going to come to Swords. Yeah. I hope you're ready for the Swords. I'm ready for yeah, <laughs> we've uh, we've been. Uh, we're, oh, do we have some questions? Let's see what we have. First song you ever played. Okay, here we go. Together. together. What's the first song you ever first played song, together? Well, actually, I remember first time. And this is a good story. Uh, in high school, he sang the talent show. Uh, solo by himself, uh, 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 outside by Stained. Oh, okay. And so when I was practicing, I think that was the first one we jammed to. I, I learned the riff on acoustic guitar, and we played to it. And when I heard him sing, and I was playing, I'm like, you know what? We we could do this probably. So. Okay. That, cool. That would be the first song probably we jammed to. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Have you gotten into any fights with any other rock stars? <laughs> uh, would you fight, or would you and would you win? It says, oh, if, if you oh, got if. in a fight with an, uh, any other rock star, who would you fight and would you win? Jack Black says you'd lose against him. Yeah. <laughs> what about Fred Probably. Durst? We could beat up Fred Durst. Fred Durst? I would actually want to follow, uh, fight Fall Out Boy. <laughs> Oh, you want to fight the Fallout Boys? Yeah, mainly Pete Wentz. What about the Jonas Brothers? Those guys would be oh, great yeah. to I want to fight pound on them too. guys, huh? Yeah. I can't believe they beat Stan. And but those are little children, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're they not. Get a, we, we, don't wanna get, we don't want to go to jail yet. <laughs> oh, all, all the little girls are going to be screaming, oh, I can't believe they said that! 
So you guys have quite a quite a quite a lot of ladies following you around, or? Mostly this guy. <laughs> well, you know. You can't talk about that. I'm single. I'm single. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. So it's it's all about the music and. But it's all about the music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite show you played? Okay. What was the favorite show? Think. My my favorite show. Oh, the Tom and Dave show. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is our first interview. Yeah, it is. Okay. So you, hey, guys, you guys are doing. You, you guys are great. You're naturals. Yeah. You. Like show wise, probably House of Blues, just because you know, that was a huge venue for us. We always yeah. saw a bunch of bands there, but experience like. Fan wise and stuff, probably the rave. Yeah, in with Milwaukee. with her in Milwaukee. Her. I mean, they just loved us. They just we we were on stage for a minute, then the minute you load off and you go to your booth, I mean, just people lining up, buying CDs, buying shirts. I mean, we signed so many so many shirts and CDs that night. It was just, I mean, it really hits you like, oh, they, these people are looking at you like, you know, you're one of them. And we know, you know, it's it's a hard road to get to where we want to be, mm -hmm. but. You know, just having them appreciate it and like the music, I mean, that's, that's the best feeling in the world. That's cool. When you guys played at the House of Blues, was what was it like to see all those people? <sighs> that was, yeah, that was the first big show we ever had, yeah. uh, thanks to this guy. And <laughs> it, I don't know, it was, it was crazy. Like you said, the adrenaline, uh, the minute you hit the stage, the minute the curtain opens, all you see are faces looking at you. Now, yeah. now what's the fuel room? Fuel Room is in Libertyville, Illinois. It's north side. It's actually north of the city, okay. uh, and they've been getting a lot of a lot of rock acts. I mean, like Chevelle's played there. Uh, who else? Theory of, Theory of a Dead Man. Um, Taproot Tap Taproot's man. played there. Saving Abel. Bra uh, Blackstone Cherry. Yeah. So yeah, they've been getting a lot of a lot of mainstream acts. And uh, yeah, we had the like I said, we, we opened with Hurt previously, and we said, hey, you know, we'd like to get on the show again, and things worked out, and we were able to open for them. And, it was a great time. Let's see, it says, Will... Oh, that's a different question they're asking about about uh, football here. Let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We can talk yeah, about when, when can we expect the album to come out? Ah, uh, well, we're shooting for recording the rest of this year uh, and hopefully being in the final stages January, February. Okay. So, uh, like I said, and look for updates on our website. Uh, we'd love to... Put out teasers. I mean, if we get a track like a chorus that we love, we'll post it. You know, okay. We'll tease them and uh, just say. You guys are gonna tease some people. They're gonna tease you people out there <laughs> with some with some rock and roll music, hard driving teasing going on. <laughs> well, uh, I think that's pretty good for 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 that part as far as the questions go. Um, hey, how about it for those guys? That was yes. it's great. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Appreciate yeah, it. first interview, and they, they acted uh, as themselves, of course, and it was very natural, just as we are very natural, too. We're just, we're just ourselves at all times. We can't help it. You've got to be yourself, right? So, uh, you know, <laughs> I think uh, we've probably already come to the end of the show. And it, it seems like it went so fast. And you didn't even hit me. And we didn't even get a chance to, we didn't even get the chance to do any trivia. Can we go a little bit over with some trivia? Yeah. Okay. Good. Just, can we, can we have some yeah, trivia? Okay. Actually, okay. And, and would you hit me, right, just go like that. Look at, yeah, oh, no, no, I mean, actually, you know, okay. Oh, okay. So you have some trivia? Yes, I do have some trivia. Okay. I've got my thinking cap on. Actually, uh, Dave left his, his locker unlocked. And uh, I happen to go in there. I happened to go in there and confiscate some of his notes, actually. Oh, this is yes. good. All right, it cost $7 million to build the Titanic and $200 million to make the film about it. Really? Yes, really. That is uh, very uh, deep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>